Thanks to Zapier's AI actions, we can now connect our custom GPTs to thousands of applications without writing a single line of code. Getting set up with Zapier's AI actions is super straightforward. The first thing we need to do is define our action. The second, just copy and paste a URL along with a pre-written prompt. And thirdly, within this pre-written prompt, just type out the specific actions that we have set up so that our custom GPT knows what to look out for. Two quick, honest disclaimers. The first is that Zapier's AI actions is still in alpha. That just means that being pre-beta, a lot is still subject to change and we might find some things a bit buggy. I for one have experienced a few issues around authentication. If you've been a long running fan of Zapier and its ability to chain several applications together, you won't really find that so directly with Zapier's AI actions. It's still possible to put into a custom GPT, but we would probably need to set up a webhook for that and that's for a separate tutorial. So since we're still in this one, let's dive in. Some quick administrative things before we get going. To start, let's hop over to actions.zapier.com and then click on ChatGPT and GPTs. We're going to scroll down, scroll down, and under the example prompt, you're going to see these configuration links. We don't have to worry about them. This is just a quick dummy way to connect our OpenAI accounts to Zapier. So I'm going to copy that, paste that here. This is going to pop up. Let's just log in. And now we're going to wind up on this page. Let's just go ahead and click allow. And cool. If we were successful, if we hop back to actions.zapier.com and click my actions, we should now see OpenAI pop up over here. And from this point, the magic can begin. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on manage actions and we will end up on this page. I have a bunch of actions already lined up, but let's just imagine I don't. And let's just add our new action together. Let's click that. So as always with Zapier, the world is our oyster. If you hop over to zapier.com slash apps, you'll see every possibility. Again, because this is a single action and not something that we can daisy chain, some of these aren't really relevant, but everything else like sending an email, checking our calendar, updating lead information on HubSpot, that's all up for grabs. For now, I am going to add my calendar. Add my calendar. All of these automatically show up. All of these are single actions that we can take. And let's say maybe I want to find an event within my calendar. So now all of this is going to pop up. My calendar is already set up from previous apps, and maybe this is the case for you as well. Maybe it's not. If it isn't the case, you would have to connect from scratch. If it is the case, I would actually recommend just reconnecting again, just because, like I said, I think I've experienced some bugginess around authentication, and I think it's always just good to smooth out any potential kinks everywhere we can. So yeah, whatever your action, whether it's looking in your calendar or anything else, we always have the option to have AI guess the value for that field or specify it in advance. I think I only have one calendar. Actually, I have a few. Let's just stick to this. If you opt to set a specific value, you're going to see a bunch of options show up, but you could always just get AI to guess the value. Again, to avoid any kinks, I think whatever we can specify and make concrete in advance, the better. And I think selecting the option where we have AI guess a value makes a lot more sense for things that are necessarily open-ended, like our search term in this instance. And cool. The last thing that we could edit is the name of our action. This is the name that our GPT is going to understand this action by. So I'm just going to type something like find event. We can also opt to require a preview before running any action. This is again a safety mechanism, but I think it makes more sense for posting things than for retrieving information. So let's enable that. And cool. Now our find event action is in. So now that we're done with the first step, we're going to move on to the second step. So we're going to hop back to actions.zapier.com and click on ChatGPTs and GPTs in the left panel. We're going to scroll down and grab this URL that lives beneath the header, get started. We're going to copy that and then hop over to ChatGPT, click on our names, click on my GPTs, opt to create a GPT. And on the configure page at the bottom, 
where we have the option to create a new action. We're going to click on import from URL and then click import. And then just automatically all of this JSON is going to load. And yeah, we'll see that it's retrieving the list of available actions and then running our actions by posting it out. So cool. Now we can hop back, just make sure that our action lives. And then we're going to hop back to this page and scroll down to get our pre-written instruction prompt, copy it and paste it under instructions. We're just going to work with the bare minimum before we talk about experimenting with more. We're going to get rid of all of this and just type in the name of our action. So in our case, it was find event. So I'm going to go ahead and type in find event. And technically we're all ready to go. Before we get going, I would also say that there's a lot that we can do in terms of instructions. It doesn't have to be so hard and dry. These are some other ways that instructions can be written. The most important thing is to keep these steps here intact, as well as our list of actions. We don't have to worry about the configuration link unless we're making our GPT public, but let's not worry about that for now. I've just filled this in with some random information and I think we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and create it just for myself and let's take it for a spin. As a preview, this is what lives in my calendar that our custom GPT can access. The first is coffee. Can my custom GPT see this? And the second is fun time. So let's ask. When is fun time happening in my calendar? So it's talked to actions.zapier.com. Let's confirm that we're fine with the action happening. And cool, because we opted for a preview, we're going to see it in this link. We're going to click on that, run the search term fun time in my calendar. The action has been run. And cool, it's a bit ugly in preview. So yeah, maybe if you're retrieving information, it's better to have that direct. But it came through. Indeed, fun time is happening May 2nd from 9.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. So there we have it. We have added a simple action to our custom GPT without writing a single line of code. Again, all we had to do was set up the event over here, import from URL all of this JSON, and then copy and paste a prompt template that we made minor edits on. Again, you can get a lot more experimental with this. But yeah, that's our quick first look. We're going to be back with a lot more use cases for this. And we're also super keen to know what you use this for. So yeah, let us know in the Discord. We hope this helps streamline a bunch of your processes.